For city map, let's go home and let's get some intel, right? We haven't seen Marae in a while. Hey Marae, can you give me some intel on what the girls think about me? No, that's a secret! You son of a bitch, I asked you last time and you said the same thing! <sighs> hmm. No way. Oh, that is one messed up sister. I mean, she wants to see us very badly get a girlfriend and she, she's not helping. What a little bitch. Alright, um, let's go to the science center and get a temp job. For money, Drista. Three stress, okay. Oh shit, I skipped some stuff. Okay, how do I get back? How do I get back? Oh shit. Okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Today is the winter festival break. I had the day off because of the winter festival. Kato, come on! Screw you! I asked for I, I asked you for intel and you did not deliver. Huh? Didn't you say you were going to the shrine today? Uh, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> I slumped out of bed. Marae already dressed up apparently assuming I would take her with me. I don't know, if I take her with me then she's gonna make fun of me with my friends. And she's gonna wonder if Asaga and Chikara is my girlfriend. Quite an assumption. Oh well, I better not make a stink about it. Even if I didn't take her, it seemed like she was going to interlope one way or, or another. I guess Asaga and Chigaru wouldn't mind if I also took Mare along. Uh, we should take Avi too. <laughs> I wouldn't get my hopes up on that one. She's way too anti-social for these type kind of things. Now I always hear people use the word anti-social wrong because when people use anti-social, they, they mean like they don't like to be around people, but honestly, um, anti-social is supposed to mean um, doing things that are not normal. You know, doing things that are bad. Anyways, yeah. Despite what I saw, uh, despite that, I saw Ava downstairs. Wow, looks like, uh, looks like Mare is trying to set this up or something. Oh, what a surprise! Uh, uh, what, what are you doing out there? Nothing much. I was just going to take a stroll. Hey, it's rare, it's rare to see you relaxing. You should come to the shrine with us, it's the winter festival after all. Well, if you're inviting me... <laughs> oh, look at her, she's so arrogant. <laughs> it's important to get fresh air at the mountains every once in a while. It looks like this was going to be a pretty big outing. So let me get this straight. We have Ava, Moray, Chigara, and a saga. <laughs> That's plenty of girls. For once, it felt like my social life actually existed. Could this mean that change had finally come? <laughs> Oh shit, this is funny. We met Asaga and Chigaro at the transit station. Oi, Kato! <laughs> ah, Mr. Manager. Yo, what's going on, babe? Mm, all four of you, including my sister. <laughs> I, brought, I, br I brought some more people. Oh, it's the student council president. Good morning, Madame President. Good morning, you two, you peasants. Mm. <laughs> Wait a second, why is she flinging her hair for the girls too? Is she a lesbian? <laughs> and this is my younger sister, Moray. Oh, I never knew you had a little sister, Kato. Is 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 a sug going to make fun of us or something? She's cute. <laughs> I'm Chigara, nice to meet you, Mare. I'm Asaga, your brother's been helping out at the Kendo Club. <laughs> Thank you for looking out for my brother. Hey, no, 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 he's the one looking out for me most of the time. <laughs> oh, I wonder what's going through Mare's mind. I mean, is she thinking that we're dating all these girls or something? 100% true statement. Soon the transit to the shrine arrived. 
Alright, we left the shuttle and entered the shrine grounds. The shrine was bustling with activity. Even though it was usually a quiet place, today it was teeming with people. Astaga was already busy giggling with Moray about something. I guess their mental ages were about the same. So I'm guessing that, you know, Moray is the youngest, Ava is the oldest, and Chigara and um, Asaga is the same age as Kato. I, I sure hope they weren't talking about me. Although they most likely were. Yes, they're talking about me. They're, you know, talk about my embarrassing stories, like how much, you know, when I, uh, you know, when she saw me take a shower and my penis was like an acorn or something. <laughs> embarrassing stories. <sighs> Sigh. We walked around looking for at the stands. Ooh! It, it, it's that Chikara! Ah, that. Asaga pointed to a small prayer booth. Oh, that's why we didn't uh, um, interact with Sola about the festival. It's because she's working here. Oh, okay. Beginning the year with the Emperor's blessing for an active love life. Sola? Where did she come from? The monolith of pure love beckons all single seeking relay, uh, uh, companionship. Oh, it looks like she's talking a lot. Oh, that, that's kind of strange of Sola. Alright! <laughs> this year, it's definitely going to happen. Asaga rubbed her palms and prostrated herself before the monolith. Prostrated? Wait, prostate? Pros prostrate? What? <laughs> oh, may the blessing of the emperors reach this lonely show. Uh, I did not choose the lonely life. The lonely life chose me. Oh, holy Ruvian Emperor in heaven, please let me get a boyfriend this year. <laughs> Way to make a mockery of, of yourself at the holy site. I was sure that if Asaga kept that up, she was just going to end up cursed instead. <laughs> uh, that's mean. Ah. And it'd also uh, be nice if I could lose a few pounds off my butt. What are you talking about, a saga? You know, nothing wrong with a big butt, you know? You know? Really, come on. Why would you want to lose weight off your butt? Girls, explain it to me. Why would a girl want to lose weight off her butt? <laughs> Please let that happen too. That was definitely beyond the love monolith's power. Clearly, not a shred of common sense existed in this girl. Asaga finally picked herself up. Okay, I think it worked. Asaga gave me a thumbs up, looking stupidly confident. What the hell? It's not like the clouds parted and a celestial choir sang from the heavens. She was beyond help. Does anyone else seek the Emperor's blessing? Me? No way! <laughs> I guess I could try. <laughs> Don't worry, Kato. I'll pray really hard for you so you get double blessed. Oh, thank you very much, Mare. I knew I could count on you. Mare and Jigara walked up to the monolith and prayed. I guess it was my turn now. Okay, uh, pray to the love monolith. I'm fine without blessing. You know what? Let's, 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 let's pray. I mean, it's free, right? There's no harm, so let's pray. Oh well, since everyone else was doing it, I couldn't help to try to fit in. I walked up to the monolith and knelt down. Even though I was sure there was nothing but a piece of stone, suddenly I was hit with a tingling sensation. <laughs> the clouds suddenly started rolling across the sky as if time was sped up. Don't tell me we're gonna go time travel or something. Like, uh, like, uh, what, what the hell was that, um, Sakura Spirits or something. <laughs> and yet, it seemed as if my body was paralyzed and everyone around me was moving in slow motion. Your wish has been heard. What, what the hell is that? The world turn, returned to normal. I was kneeling at the prayer stand as if nothing had happened. I could hear a saga talking loudly about something behind me. Did I imagine the whole thing? Anyways, I'm very much. Stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy.